What's up, YouTube? Let's check out this giant comic haul courtesy of Newberry Comics. First up, DC is doing these really cool foil covers to celebrate, like, the 90s. So this one is Batman 129 with Batman fighting Bane. Here is Batman 129 with this awesome Gabrielle Del Auto cover. This issue was fantastic. What's going to happen between Batman and Failsafe with their giant fight? This issue ended up with a cliffhanger, literally, and I cannot wait to see what happens in the next issue. Paul Dano expands his Riddler in Riddler year number one. This issue was fantastic. Honestly, go pick it up if you haven't checked it out already. Batman vs. Robin number three with this awesome 90s homage cover. We also have this really cool title fight card cover with Batman vs. Nightwing. Batman Incorporated number two. Batman Urban Legends number 21. Honestly, I absolutely love this cover. I love how Batman is just hanging out on top of the elevator. I Am Batman number 15 with this awesome 90s homage cover. Detective Comics 1065. Honestly, I've been loving Ram, Z, Ram V's run on the Detective Comics. It's been a really great read. Detective Comics 38, which is the first appearance of Robin. This is a reprint edition, and I absolutely wanted to grab this. The Sensational Tim Drake, Robin the Boy Wonder number two, with this awesome homage cover to Detective Comics number 38. Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo number one. Honestly, I was a little skeptical of this issue, uh, of this series, with Batman and the Joker teaming up. But this was actually a decent read. I can't wait for issue number two. Flashpoint Beyond, number six. This was a really good read. Uh, this was a really good series. I didn't know exactly where we were going to end up, but how this ended with in both Dr. Wayne and Bruce was fantastic. And honestly, I love this uh, family cover. Batman Beyond the White Knight, number six. This has been a solid entry into the series, the, the new Beyond the White Knight series by Sean Murphy. Fantastic. I love the Bruce Joker stuff. It's awesome. Gotham City, year one, number two. Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number two. This awesome cover. The series is pretty decent so far. Honestly, I'm going to continue reading this. It's a little bit better than the last Joker series. Punchline, the Gotham game, number one. Poison Ivy, number six. This has been a fantastic series. I think this is the last issue until the next run or like volume two or for a while. But this was a solid series and pick it up if you haven't already. Dark Knights of Steel, number eight. Spinning out of the conclusion of Flashpoint Beyond, the new Golden Age, number one. This was a solid issue. Uh, it really tied in what happened in Flashpoint Beyond. And I absolutely love this Alan Scott cover. The Flash, Fastest Man Alive, number three. This is a tie-in comic to the movie upcoming. And honestly, the series was pretty good. I'm still hyped for this movie regardless of the Ezra stuff because I love The Flash. Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths, number six with this awesome homage cover to the original Crisis on Infinite Earths cover, as well as this other homage cover to, uh, I believe, Infinite Crisis. It's been 30 years since Superman died, so we are celebrating the death of Superman 30th anniversary special with this Funeral for a Friend cover. We also have this 30th anniversary reprint of Superman 75, which is the death of Superman. Action Comics 1048 with this really cool cover. The last couple issues of Action Comics have had fantastic covers. Superman, Son of Kal-El, number 17, with this awesome 90s cover. DC vs. Vampires, number 10. Nice House on the Lake, number 11. Wonder Woman, 793, with this amazing 90s cover. A New Age of the Fantastic Four, with Fantastic Four, number one, with this Alex Ross cover. We have Amazing Spider-Man, number 12, and number 13, which shows Spider-Man going up against the Hobgoblin, as well as the first appearance of Gold Goblin. Spider-Man number two, the first issue by Dan Slott was fantastic. I loved how it ended, and I checked this issue out, and it was really cool. I love how this one ended as well. Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man number one, Secret Invasion number one with a Scott Young cover, Crypt of Shadows number one, The Hulk number 10 with this awesome Spider-Man cover, Mandalorian number five. Honestly, I love this cover. I love Grogu here. Dark Ride number two. The first issue of this by Josh Williamson was fantastic. I cannot wait to read this one. Radiant Black number 19. Do a Powerbomb number six. Another fantastic series. Hell to Pay number one. This was a really cool issue. I only picked it up just because it looked cool and I kind of flipped through it, but I read it and it was phenomenal. And lastly, Love Sick number one, starring the Mother Demon. Thanks for checking out this awesome comic haul.